Thanks for joining me on today's session, our weekly live video chat session. I'm Rich Allen, your coach. Thanks for joining me today. You know, we've got a couple of schedule uh, issues here these next couple of weeks uh, with some crazy things going on. In fact, next week I'm taking my family on a mission trip to Haiti. So I'm very excited about that, but uh, obviously not going to be able to connect up then. And today we're a little bit off schedule in terms of timing, but I wanted to make sure I got a message to you today that you could listen to whenever it was available to you um, to give you a bit of encouragement and, and, and just some motivation for this week's activities. We're at the 6th of March, so we're in the third month of the year and moving along. The year's kind of clicking away. The first quarter's coming to a close here fairly quickly. Hopefully your business is moving along and doing nicely. But if not, I want to give you a, a kind of a jolt here today. I want to give you a, a, a bit of a taste of a book that I read called The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. I happened to see Darren at a conference here recently uh, where he shared some of the learnings from his book. It's a powerful read. If you've not read this book, it's one that you ought to pick up. You ought to have a book going at all times. So if you don't have one that's open and, and you're in the middle of your learning and, and, and taking some new knowledge in, here's a great one to jump into. And I want to tell you that, that, that Darren talks about several things. His point in, the, in his, his talk is really about what does it take to get on the cover of Success Magazine? And when you think about it, if you're familiar with Success Magazine, everybody that's on there is well-known, successful, popular, has done really well in their business or enterprise or activity, whatever their, their, uh, their profession is. But he's got some tips that, that each one of them has proven out to be um, core principles that they apply to get onto the cover of the magazine. It's not a quick fix. In fact, the, in fact, the quote that he uses, I love it. It says, um, success is earned by hard frickin' work. Stop looking for the quick fix. And that's true of all of us, right? We have to have passion to do our job, but we have to have persistence to stick with it when it really gets tough, when things really start to bog down, when we get deflated, when things don't go our way. We've got to be able to push through and make that happen. So here's a couple of tips that he's given us that I want to share with you this week because I think they'll be helpful to you. One of them is that, that your output is very much related to the inputs that you have in your life. So if you think about it, our brain takes in a lot of information. We get consumed by um, um, stimulus, if you will, um, whether it's the news, whether it's uh, other people around us, um, the, the traffic that we get ourselves caught in, our business issues and themselves, we get inputs from a lot of different sources. But many of us put in this negative, nasty input that we get through news channels all the time. And that's, that kind of becomes the cloudy water at the, in the base of, of kind of how we think. And one way for us, if we want to have some better outcomes, then we need to change the input that we're getting. And I like the way that Darren said it. He said his car doesn't, doesn't move without two things, gas in the gas tank and a motivational CD that he's playing in the car. In other words, he's not spending time on the talk news. He's not listening to sports radio. He's not listening to music. He's putting into his mind some positive, uplifting, motivating thoughts or some new techniques and tips on how to improve your selling, tech, uh, selling tactics. Or maybe it's a how, to, how to improve your team dynamics and it's, he's listening to some tape. I've started to do the same, and I'll tell you, it makes a world of difference. You put clean water in, and, you're, and you, you think fresher thoughts coming out, more positive thinking. Your output is related to your inputs. So make sure you're doing whatever you need to do to make sure your inputs are clear, clean, positive, uplifting, motivational, inspirational, and hopefully educational. He also talks about this notion of, of the entertainment versus education quotient. In other words, you, you don't want to spend your life doing 100% of your free time on entertainment. 
you need to, there needs to be a balance between entertainment and education because we're always, we're always learning. Hopefully you're doing that in your business and in your life. It's going to make a huge difference. Here's one other tip that I'll share with you this week um, that might get you going. He shared this notion that, that our, uh, our success is like a pendulum that swings back and forth, that, that we live in this comfort zone that if we take risks on this side, our, the, the size of our risk is, is going to be proportionate to the size of our reward on the other side of the pendulum swing. Do you get that visual? And, and so we tend to swing our pendulum in what we can come to know as our comfort zone. And his thought was, and I agree with this totally, that, that if you want bigger success, you've got to be willing to move your pendulum over on the risk side out of your comfort zone. You've got to do something that is extraordinarily risky in your mind in order to allow that pendulum to swing way over into the, this high success mode. And he suggests that everybody that's been on the cover of Success Magazine has done just that. So my question for you this week is, what is that that you need to do? What's that risk that you need to take that's going to push you beyond your boundary? And it might even fail. It might not go well. But by doing that, you'll give yourself the opportunity to have the correlation and this and the, the shift on the success side that comes with that risk. What is that for you? Is that picking up the phone and calling somebody that you know you, you want to meet, but you just don't have the courage to call? Is it going to that meeting and walking across the room and shaking hands with somebody who's a big player in your industry that you need to meet? Is it stepping out and doing something or, create, or taking a risk in your business, making that leap of faith that if I bring this person on board, my business is going to accelerate like never before? What's that risk? Because the more you take that risk, you're gonna, there will be chances and opportunities for you to fail, no doubt. But that's required, that's essential if you expect to be successful. So, two big thoughts I want to give to you this week. One is, your inputs matter. What you put into your brain is going to come out in other ways. So the outputs are related to the inputs. Put in good stuff. Make sure that you're listening to tapes, you're reading books, you're, you're, uh, you're surrounding yourself with people who are uplifting, motivating, and encouraging. And then secondly, get out of your comfort zone. Do something this week that stretches yourself out of that comfort zone so that you can enjoy the reward that's going to come from that. You do that this week and it's going to make a powerful impact on your person, on you yourself, on your business, on how you feel about things, your family. You're going to enjoy the outcome. I guarantee it. Hope that's been helpful this week. I'm Rich Allen, your business coach. You know how to reach me. If there's a question or a comment, don't hesitate to email me or shout back at me. Love to chat with you. Make it a great week. I'm not going to be here next week. I'll be in Haiti with my family. Um, looking forward to seeing you after when we get back. Have a great one. We'll talk soon. Ride hard.